Good afternoon, children. We will continue with our second chapter, and now we'll take the topic coalition government. Now, in India, during general election, sometimes a situation rises where no single party secures majority required to form a government. In such situation, some parties may get together and form the government. Such a government. is called a coalition government as it is formed by a combination of different parties now generally a major party leads the coalition government coalition may also be formed before election some parties may get uh, may form alliances before election and fight election together whichever party secures majority forms the government along with the coalition partners some example we can see the of this coalition government one is haryana only and then other you can say the maharashtra now this coalition government has its own advantages and disadvantages now first we will see the advantages of it. Now this coalition government can reflect public opinion better, as it represent different parties, and these parties were having different ideologies. Moreover, there might be sometimes differences of opinion, but they have to come on at a common point and govern the country accordingly. Second advantage is that. that it saves the country from having to conduct general election all over again which is very difficult task and it is expensive also now some disadvantages this coalition government may be prone to disagreements and conflicts due to different views and due to this the government policies also get delayed in implementation not only that some parties in coalition if not happy with the working of the government they may threaten or uh, to uh, withdraw their support to the government and when it happens then government falls so this type of government is unstable also 